Barley, are you ready for an adventure back there? He doesn't care. Hey guys, after a whole winter of being cooped up, we're going on an adventure. We're opening camping season this weekend and we're traveling one hour away from our house to a KOA and we're gonna de-winterize. It is a beautiful day and it is the first trip in our new Tacoma. So let's hitch up and go. at the KOA in Middleborough, Massachusetts. This is not the most scenic spot we've ever had, but it'll do the trick. Sean is unhitching us. And we're gonna unpack. We are now parked and getting set up at the KOA in Middleborough, Massachusetts. We came here today so that we could dewinterize, which means that we have to flush our pipes full of antifreeze. And while we normally like a state park, um, we like to come to a place like this once a year at the beginning so that we can get full hookups and use the sewer to flush the lines. I'm gonna actually also clean the inside of the tab. It's not too bad, but there's definitely a little dust in there and a little organization that has to be done. Um, so I'm gonna get to that. Sean's going to do the dewinterizing in the lines. Here's the kitchen. I'm not gonna do a full tab tour today because I think that we're not gonna be set up completely. I wanna do that when we have a full setup. Sean is getting the sewer hooked up for us so that we can flush the lines and get the water running through so we have fresh water running through the tab. It's not the most scenic time of year. There's no leaves on the tree, but trees, but it is a beautiful sunny day. This is the earliest we've gone camping so far. We got super lucky with a 70 degree and sunny day. It's breezy. It's awesome. We have a really fun dinner planned, which I'm excited to show you guys. And we'll go for a walk later. But for now, we got a bunch of work to do, so we're going to get to it. I think there's something maybe in this faucet that has to be fenced with. We'll see if we get more out of something else. It's just, it's just strange. Like, all the other things that Maybe we're washing the stock or maybe we could probably replace the whole thing, you know? Yeah, I think that's a video. Put that on the YouTube list. How to replace we're putting that on the YouTube list. How to replace a faucet on your tab. You always gotta learn new skills when you are RVing. But look at this cool tray I bought two years ago and I forgot that I bought it last year. So this is our first year using it and it is so cute. This is what we're dealing with with this sink. 
like that's the only amount of water that's coming out like this tiny little stream there we can't get any more water does anyone know how to fix this let us know please in the comments let us know all right so we're as organized as we're going to get today here's the kitchen cabinets everything kind of fits one night of food is much easier than a long weekend or a week so everything's fitting in there so nicely kettle for coffee in the morning all right i think we are done cleaning for the day let's go for a walk I did. Let's go. I can't believe how sunny it is today. So early in April. It's like 70 degrees. It's awesome. For dinner tonight, we are having hot pot. I found this hot pot base when we went to H Mart last week, and we have power, so we brought our little fondue pot, and we are going to make hot pot, and I'm super psyched. So we're gonna get ready for that. All right, so let's see what's in this pack. I'm not exactly sure how to use it in all the directions are in Chinese, I think. There's a little bit of fish. Where? What does it say? It doesn't have any directions on there. Oh, it's just the ingredients. Yeah, so. The directions are only. Yeah, the directions are only in Chinese. Um, but I think maybe, let's see what's in here. There is this bag of spices and oils, it looks like, and, and we have like a powder, which I bet is kind of spicy. So maybe like half. half of each. Yeah, because we got uh, literally right. burned last time. Yeah, last <laughs> time we did hot pot, we used too much and it was really, really too spicy. Okay, so we're going to get this going in the fondue pot and get all of our ingredients out of the cooler. I think I have to make some dipping sauces. I have some sesame oil here, and some soy sauce, and some scallions, and some hot oil, so we'll see how that goes. So I will see you guys back at the picnic table. All right, we got our hot pot set up. This is our fondue pot we brought from home, and it is electric, so we could use it today because of the power. We have some leftover ingredients from our hot pot kit from Mike Chen. This is boiling good and we have a lot of wind here today. We have some thinly sliced steak, some shrimp, a bunch of veggies, mushrooms, potatoes. We have cabbage and tofu and we got this dipping sauce and hot oil. So we cannot wait to dig in. So we got these enoki mushrooms that we um, liked last time we had hot pot. This is only our second time having hot pot, but we kind of love it. We'll make sure I love it later. We're a little brave doing spicy hot pot with a tiny tab bathroom. I can walk pretty fast. Okay. Yeah, we need to let this boil. I got me go some. Okay. We just loaded it up with a bunch of cold vegetables. 
our hot pot drinking beer of choice is Allagash White. We're trying. We got it at Costco and it was a really good deal. All right. We got one of these tofu puffs here. That's been in there. You had one already? Yeah, I like them. Mmm. It was soaked up a lot of good flavor. More gnocchi mushrooms, which I love. Those are yours. I've already had my gnocchi quota. I should have bought more of the gnocchi mushrooms. I feel like I could just have a hot pot with gnocchi mushrooms and be totally happy. I feel like I'm going to burn my face off right now. That's a spicy one. They really soak up the spices. And just the heat. Are you burning your face off? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In a good way, though? <laughs> mm. Mets and mets on the, on the gooder versus bad? Mm-hmm. Oh, but they are good. This is a really good, perfect meal for early spring camping. Oh, yeah. This going well. Oh, some more tofu puffs going in. I know, they're like marshmallows, but hot pot. <laughs> sounds like a weird thing, but they taste good. All right. I have a hard time remembering my cooking chopsticks from my eating chopsticks. Practice. We got to eat more hot pot. We'll be good. I'm also not great at... The long chopsticks. Let's push it around. There we go. He is the swish, I think. Oh yeah, you're right. So you get kind of all of it. It cooks so fast. All right. See, like that was five seconds. I really love the shrimps. Is the Costco shrimps? These are the Costco shrimps. Thanks, Costco. Maybe I should be saying that for so many things. All right. Mmm. Beef is really good. Ooh, potatoes are getting soft. Maybe some spots. There's a big splash. <laughs> I feel like I'm fighting you in this hot pot. The hot pot duel. I'm trying to figure out how long this tofu is going to take. I mean, I think it's done. Oh, yeah, look. Look at that potato. It's totally done. Potato. All right, potato time. Yeah, the potatoes got. That's what the other thing I remember was the potatoes were like nuclearly hot. They are nuclearly nuclearly hot. Hot potato. I'll burn my face off with these gnocchis instead. Are you burning your face off? Just got a little bit of peppercorn on the end. I don't know. Like, Anoki mushrooms are like the best discovery we had in the whole hot pot. They are so good. It's kind of like eating a noodle and a mushroom at the same time. Which turns out to be a thing I like a lot. Mm. All right, guys, we're gonna finish our hot pot out with some noodles. And then we're going to be done. Hot pot camping was a success. And that probably does it for this first ever RV vlog. Um, we're going to just clean up and have a fire and get cozy in the tab. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll probably be doing more RV and RV camping cooking content over the summer. So. If you like that, let me know in the comments below. I have a lot of fun ideas on things to cook over a campfire and at the campsite. Um, Barley wants to say good night. Good night. So see you next time. Bye.